Hoi. <laughs> See, like I said, that's how you get people's attention here. Ahoy! They jump. Manila, Philippines is home to some of the absolute worst traffic in the entire world, second only to Bengaluru, India. Driving into the city, I learned that Manila is in the process of building a skyway to improve the flow of traffic from north to south, cause man does this city need it. Imagine if Tokyo didn't have a subway system and people had to resort to jeepneys, tricycles, and any other road choking, fossil fuel burning vehicles to commute, and Manila is what you end up with. I was quite shocked when I looked over to my right and I saw this jeepney's spare tire, bald as Michael Chiklis. He played the thing in the rather forgettable Fantastic Four movies. And what's Captain America doing in that Fantastic Four costume? Anyways, I digress. There's a foot. <laughs> That's a toe. <laughs> That's why the door is uh, from, from, uh, it's, it's a jar. <laughs> he needs to breathe. Oh my god. We were making our way to Divisoria to peruse the endless racks of counterfeit goods, but first we stopped at the food court for some lunch. I was curious as to how an unlimited rice option functions in a fast food setting, and then I saw a guy walking around with a big old bucket and a scooper. Yeah, the rice vendor. <laughs> Alright, so we just did a bunch, a buttload of shopping here at Divisoria. Got some pante. So we're gonna head over to Port Santiago, do some sightseeing. Okay, next stop, Port Santiago. buildings here and then like brand new sky rises on the other side this parking lot is completely packed so what do we do just move the motorcycle <laughs> there you go just move it move it to the side she'll be right yeah manolong manolong <laughs> manolong to the to save the day that my friends is how we improvise Hey, look at the beautiful horse. Kalesha. It's the most number of white folks we've seen since we've got here in the Philippines. But we are in Intramuros. It's uh, one of the more popular tourist destinations here in Manila. As you can see, there's a lot of Kaleshas. East Fort Santiago. Okay, guys. Wait. Makana po. That's how you get people's attention here. Hoi. Ahoy. Hoi. We are in Fort Santiago, which is an iconic citadel. Um, it's within the walls of Intramuros. Intramuros is a Latin word meaning within the walls, intra, within, muros, walls. Bawal ang umihi dini. Dinhi. I think you should pose here with your cat shirt. Here? Yeah. Ling is very amused by this carrot shirt which I bought at Pen Shop. Amused is a very generous term. Yeah, she tolerates it. Now I'm posing with it. It could be either carrots, because the orange is the carrot and the... Oh, look at that. 
<laughs> That's a good photo. I know. Um, the orange could be the carrot, and the green could be the leaf sticking out of the carrots. That could be, is. Or it could be peas and carrots, orange being the carrots, green being the peas. I don't know, you decide. That right there is the OG, the original gangster, Manu Leng, aka Manny, aka Bishop, aka uh, the guy who drives us around. <laughs> Oh, look at your dad. He's so romantic with the umbrella. Yeah. 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 There's Padre. He saw Fort Santiago. He saw the, the cell of Jose Rizal. <laughs> we got it. Okay. Sabak. Sabak na yung crosswind. Ling was smart. Earlier, she went to Holy Bee and she bought us some. Uh, we only get a buko pie. Buko pie. But how do you know which one it is? If it says peach mango on one, then they take it. Uh, they take it on the other side. Ah, uh, so done it. Oh, look at all these cars that are stopped right Intram here. Intramuros. Oh my god. Mmm, that sounded so crunchy. Can I have a bite? Cars honk in rather consistently here in Manila. When they honk, a little beep, a beep, beep, into a polite honk. Just a courtesy honk to let you know that they're there. If you hear a beep, that's an angry honk. That's considered angry. You know what I noticed being here in the Philippines? They really love those I heart signs, like I heart. There was one there that said I heart Intramuros fire station. Mm -hmm. Much that is the history of Fort Santiago, an area that has been attacked, bombed, and passed around from one colonial force to the next, British, Spanish, American, Manila Cathedral's long-standing history was not any better. The now iconic cathedral was reduced to rubble by the Japanese in 1945 during the Battle of Manila, as the Second World War was coming to an end. The cathedral we were walking through was completely rebuilt from the ashes of Japan's scorched earth defense. Before calling it a day, we just had one more stop to make to one of the most important and iconic landmarks in all of Manila. A look at that sunset. Well, no visit to Manila would be complete without a visit to, to the National hero of the Philippines, Jose Rizal. <laughs> it's the biggest flag in, in the Philippines right here. Yeah, it is wow. It seems that people come here to exercise, take photos, such as myself, tourists, and also shoot TikTok dance videos. <laughs> Alright, so that was the Jose Rizal Memorial. We need to get back to our car ASAP, which is just double parked over there. Alright, we're good to go. We're good to go.